Good afternoon and welcome to Transform by Truth, the MyTV program that focuses on truths that will set you free. February is Child Education Month, and it is a joy to have Pastor Mala Rokadur with us once again. He is pastor of Nasori Baptist Church and also the principal of Nasori Baptist Academy. So, Pastor Mala, it's a joy to have you back on our program. Thank we had you a few weeks ago Thank you. to share your testimony, and that was a blessing. Praise the Lord. And it's great to have you back now as we are talking about educating children and uh, God's way of training and raising up the next generation. So, I'd like to welcome you again to our program this afternoon. Mm. Always a joy to have you, my friend. Thank you. Well, child education, what a big topic mm. that is. But it is a very important topic. And uh, we are concerned about it as parents. We're concerned as educators on how our children are developing, how they're growing. Yeah. Uh, we are living in an ever-changing world, a developing world. Uh, for many of us, we look back at our childhood and uh, the technology was different. The things that we had to learn or face were totally different. It was a different world. And our children are now entering into a completely different environment. And of course, as parents and as educators, we want to prepare our children. We want to train them and give them the tools that they need so that they, when they go out into the workforce, when they head out on their own, that they're prepared for what's ahead. Mm -hmm. And so we're spending this month dealing with matters concerning childhood education, talking about things that will help uh, encourage parents, educators, but also give them good tools to raise up children in the right way. And so some of the things that we've been talking about throughout the month are related to not just the reading, the writing, and the arithmetic. Mm -hmm. And we understand those things are vitally important. Our children need to know how to read, they need to know how to write, they need to know how to add and subtract, divide. Uh, they need some understanding of history and sciences and other things, mm -hmm. and those are vitally important. But it's more than just teaching our children the basics of education. Mm -hmm. I believe that we also need to instill within them good character, godly character, yeah. so that they can function and interact with other people in this world in an honest and a moral way. Uh, we're certainly seeing the decline of that in our society today, that children are, are, are very deceitful, uh, they're taking advantage, they're looking for options on how to cheat the system, to, to cut corners, and there's a lot of mistrust and a, a, just an overall, uh, I would say, displeasure with the way we see a lot of our children being raised and developing. And I think good character will straighten that out. The other thing I think that is important is that we would teach our children self-control. Uh, we've talked about this already, learning to hear the word no. No, you can't do that. No, you can't talk that way. No, you can't behave in that fashion. And, and again, there, there are these problems that are developing in our society today where parents are allowing their children to get away with things and they are not restraining them and not teaching them self-discipline or the biblical word is the word temperance, which means self-control, mm -hmm. learning to govern and rule oneself. And I think these are important because the Bible says this in Proverbs chapter number 6 and verse 20, 23, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is a light and the reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Now there are three things that God brings out. He says that the commandment is a lamp. I believe that would fit in the context of the basics that every child needs to know. There are certain things that are needed for someone to be educated, to function in life and in society. And those commandments are a lamp. They guide. They provide a direction. But then it says the law is a light. The law of God is what teaches us what is right and what is wrong. It teaches us morality. It also is big on instructing us on how to be self-controlled. But that fits more under the reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Remember, children do not come pre-programmed. They don't come already instructed. 
They need to be taught. There's a lot of foolishness in a child's heart that needs to be driven out and replaced with wisdom. And God has given that responsibility to parents. Yeah. And then he is also through the parents given that responsibility to educators, uh, those in our churches, others within our family unit that can help shape and mold that child in a way that they ought to go. Now again, I invited Pastor Mala on our program today because I would like him to share his perspective on child education. Mm. Uh, he has three children himself, so yeah. he's a father. He knows the challenges, the demands there. And then also being involved in Missouri Baptist Academy mm. uh, as the, the principal of the school, the overseer, mm. and just uh, you know the responsibility of educating these children that parents have put in your trust. Mm. And so we're interested to hear um, some of your thoughts on this, your advice mm. to help strengthen us as parents or encourage us to not quit on educating our children. And so uh, I think the first question would be this, why should parents be concerned with who is educating their children? Mm. Why should they take note of who the teachers are, the influences are in a child's life? Oh, well, we, we can go back to what you have said, uh, Pasta that first of all we need to realize that our offspring, our children, uh, they are of the Lord. Psalms 127 tells us that, you know, that children are an heritage of the Lord uh, and we are here just like stewards to, to take care of them and not just to take care of them but to take care of them the way their maker, mm -hmm. you know, wants us to take care of them and there's no other place to look to in order to raise them up the way their maker wants them to be raised up and that is in the, the Word of God. And second, we need to understand that, that the responsibility of teaching our children is, you know, the, the parents themselves. You know, uh, yes, we have a, a Christian school, uh, but we clearly tell the parents, we're here to help you out. Uh, you are responsible for the education of your kids. Uh, you're responsible for what they learn. Uh, you need to understand the content of what we are sharing to them. And uh, that is the bottom line. Uh, if parents, you know, understand that, that these children are the Lord's, you know, I am responsible for training them. And it's not just training them in anything that we want. The Bible says that we have to bring them up in the nurture and the admonition, you know, uh, of the Lord. And so uh, it is important that we know who we give our kids to, you know, who they are being taught from, uh, because we are responsible of seeing that they are to be trained up in the way they should go, in the way that God wants them to be, uh, to grow, you know, in the nurture and the admonition, you know, uh, of the Lord. So the who is very important, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, we at Nosori Baptist uh, Christian Academy, uh, it's a ministry of the Nosori uh, Baptist Church, when we came to this uh, realization that it's our responsibility, you know, to teach our own kids. Uh, our teachers have to be a member of our church, people that we can trust that they will teach our children you know, the same things or the things that we believe, the things that we want, the things we believe from the Word of God that our, our children are to be taught with. And knowing uh, the Bible also uh, tells us, you know, that we have to cease from listening to instructions that cause us to err or cause us to go uh, into error. And the truth is that there's all sorts of education, not only in our country, but all over, uh, you know, the world. There may be a lot of people that are being involved in it, you know, out of ignorance. They, they may not really know uh, that what they're teaching, it's contrary to the Word of God. Uh, but you as a parent cannot blame the system for that. You're going to stand up before God one day and uh, you're going to be questioned about how you've raised up uh, their child. Uh, you just need to know that your responsibility is to see that they're being taught, you know, in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yes, yeah. that's very true. I've I've been accused a couple of times from people that I'm a protective parent mm -hmm. and they, they've uh, tried to encourage me or maybe even push me to uh, uh, allow my daughter to have more liberties or more influences. But, uh, but I think as a parent we have to uh, have some protectiveness. We need to be jealous over our children mm -hmm. and that word jealous in the Bible is a good word. It, it is speaking about protection. It's a, about a desire. And who we allow our children to be influenced by will help shape their worldview, their behavior, their attitudes. And, and I think we need to realize it's not just about 
the educators that we put them under. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some wonderful teachers and, and praise God there are people out there that really love children and they want to educate them right. But even in the midst there, there are some bad teachers and mm -hmm. there are some teachers that don't have the child's best interests or they may be teaching things that are, that are not true and not right. And those young minds soak up all that information yeah. and we need to be discerning and wise as to who we allow to come in. But then I think also in the day and age, we have television, we have the internet, we have Facebook, and the list goes on. There are a lot of voices out there of yeah. people educating and communicating their message to our children. And uh, so I think this is important for us to consider and really uh, ask that question, who is influencing my child? Now, Pastor Mala, you, your church has a Christian school. Yeah. And I know that your desire is there to follow the biblical teaching, to provide an environment for uh, the young people that would be Christ-centered, that would have the right morals, the right standards, and, and also just as a ministry to parents that you're trying to help in raising their children, of, of giving them uh, a, a good environment to send their children into. Mm -hmm. So could you share with our audience today what, what you believe the benefit uh, of Christian education is. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody want to consider Christian education versus uh, the government schools or public schools or, you know, homeschool? There's many other options out there. What would you say is a, a benefit to at least consider? Yeah, knowing that, it, you know, training children is your, so the parents God given, um, you know, responsibility. Uh, you sending your kid to Christian school. And be honest with you, let me just explain on Christian school because it's not just a Christian school by name. I went to a Christian school uh, here in Fiji, but uh, uh, there was nothing Christian about it except uh, once a week uh, that there is a Bible subject that we will, um, you know, take part in. But uh, apart from that, it's just a normal, you know, uh, curriculum. Uh, but our Christian school, uh, we have a curriculum where the Bible is woven into every subject, English, math, social studies, science, and uh, you name it. And so uh, that's the kind of Christian education I'm talking about and uh, where the Bible is being taught, you know, uh, consistently uh, to the kids. And so, uh, like I said, just sending them to, uh, to a Christian school here in Fiji, I know that for sure. Uh, that is not going to, you know, to change them at all. That's not going to benefit you, you um, at all if you're thinking about uh, the, the spiritual life. But for me, coming to a Christian school, one of the things that I tell uh, our parents is that you're able to present them, uh, you know, with the best opportunity where you will be able to build up a good foundation in their life. Uh, you know, there are parents that said, well, uh, you know, well, kids will grow up and they will make their own decision. Well, that's up to them. I mean, when they grow older, they will have to make their own decision. We'll have to prepare ourselves, you know, when that time comes that they will have to make their own decision. But the Bible says if you train them up in the way they should go, uh, they will never depart from it. And also, you as a parent, when you stand before God, you can say to God, I've done my part. Yeah. I've put my kid in a place where they are taught the Word of God, where they uh, can be able to, they, you know, be built up in a, in a proper a foundation, that is going to be your child's decision. But you as a parent, you can stand before God and know this. I've done my part. You know, I've raised my kid the way that God wants me uh, to raise uh, them up. And be honest, as we have talked about a couple um, of weeks ago about the transforming power of the Word of God, I've seen it in our school. I've seen kids that are genuine uh, in their seeking God, genuine in allowing the Word of God you know, to work in their life, I've seen their life being uh, transformed and I've seen them make some right decisions, mm -hmm. you know, in their life. And, and there's a, a lot of decisions to be made. Mm -hmm. You know, most of us have come through, you know, uh, our teenage yeah. time, our school year time, and at the end, there's a lot of decisions to be made. And when we train them according to the Word of God, uh, they have a good chance of making right choices in their life. Mm -hmm. I think that's the benefit. Yes. of putting them through Christian school. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, uh, 
you know, I look back on my life. My, my parents uh, put me in a Christian school for the majority of my education. Uh, started out in a public school for the first four or five years and then went through a Christian school mm -hmm. very similar to the one at Missouri Baptist Academy. And uh, I, I do see the value of that, of constantly having the Word of God before you, um, having an environment that uh, is at least uh, focused on glorifying God, promoting things that are, are mm -hmm. true and right, um, and, and just you know, having that, I guess you could say, a, a bit of that safety there of knowing that where you are is based upon the truth and not having to face all the other challenges that, mm -hmm. you know, will come later on in life. Uh, I definitely remember the time I, I, I gra after I graduated, went to uh, university and was exposed to new things. But I praise God that my education helped prepare me mm -hmm. to not give in to certain temptations or go down a certain path and help focus me on what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. and, and so, Pastor Mala, let me ask you this. If someone is considering uh, putting their child in a Christian school. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that the Christian school is not the answer to every yeah. single problem, uh, that it's not just this magical, perfect environment that's going to produce the best child right. ever. Mm -hmm. But in that, um, I, I guess I would ask this question as, what encouragement would you give to a parent considering that? Why, why should this be a viable option for a parent? Yeah, well, I've said before, uh, one, because it's a, it's a God-given responsibility. And knowing that in a Christian school such as ours, you know, uh, where the Bible is being taught, you know, consistently, that all throughout the Bible, uh, you know, all throughout the, the subjects, you know, uh, the Bible is woven into every subject. And knowing when it comes to training up your child, uh, the Bible says that we have to teach them diligently, line by upon line, precept. Right you know, uh, upon precept. And, uh, you know, you may be working and you can be rest assured when your kid is in a, an environment like that, uh, that you're fulfilling a role somehow, you know, through those teachers there, you know, training your child to become what God wants them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, to be. And I've always told our parents that uh, you have the right to come into our school anytime and look at your child and look at how, what they're learning. I encourage our parents to open the paces, yeah. you know, that they are doing, even though I've given them the assurance up front that everything there is biblical, I, you know, I trust it. And, but at the same time, if I'm wrong, you know, you cannot use that as an excuse before God. You yourself as a parent, you know, I have to look into that and be sure yourself that this is what you believe God wants for your, right. you know, for your child. And so uh, with uh, No Sorry Baptist Christian Academy, I can assure the parents mm -hmm. when they send their kids to our school, I mean, we have no, no other things uh, to teach except, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that which the Lord have given us to impart mm -hmm. to the kids that come our way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would definitely say if, if you're trying to make wise decisions regarding mm -hmm. where your child's going to be educated, um, you know, a Christian school is a wonderful option, and that's something that you need to pray about, think about, mm. talk to those that are in uh, leadership, talk to the teachers, because one thing that it comes down to this is that the father, primarily, but the father and mother are responsible for the type of education yeah. the child receives. And in, and in many cases, we do have options. I realize sometimes that option is not allowed or it's not feasible, but if you have that option, then you want to put your child in the best environment for learning, a place where they can be taught good character, where they can have rules and regulations, where they can have the standards that will help develop them into uh, adults, good adults. And that's the product that we're looking for, and that's what our goal is, is to produce children that will go on and be people of truth, and walk in the ways of truth. Now, Pastor Mala, when people hear about Christian schools, mm. a lot of times they think that a Christian school is a reform school. Mm. Uh, that's where we send all the bad children that mm. uh, can't, uh, can't get along in the, the government school or public school, or uh, that's where the children go where parents are just at the end. Mm. 
I can't handle them, so we're going to send them to the Christian school. Uh, would you answer that question? Is a Christian school a reform school? And, um, you know, how is the approach on that with, with children that may have some troubles and, and behavioral issues? Well, I can say uh, yes and no to that, uh, to that question, but uh, from our perspective, uh, we don't really see it that way, you know, that it's just a reform school, it's a place where kids that have messed up come. And even though that most parents uh, have brought their children because of that, and I'm glad that they have realized that it's only the Word of God that can transform uh, the life of their kids, at the same time we usually tell the parents, uh, if you're not going to cooperate, at the end of the day, uh, when you teach kids, train up the, you know, a child, we point them to their home, that the best place uh, to go back to is your home. You know, your, your authority here on earth is your mom, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, your dad. And so to us, it's not, a, it, it's, it's a training place. It's a place where, like I've been saying, a place where we lay out the, you know, the right foundation uh, for them. And so uh, they will definitely change. Uh, uh, we're not doing anything different. Uh, we try to be, to create a, um, a home atmosphere uh, in our school where the kids are not put at any pressure at all, that they realize this in order for me to enjoy my life as a kid, you know, uh, it's, it comes from obeying God's word. It comes from following through, uh, you know, uh, the Bible. And like I've said, uh, that their kids that have come, uh, they may have had issues. Uh, they may not have completely changed, but we have given them the answer. And uh, we, you know, these past years, we've had phone calls, emails uh, from students that have left. Uh, you know, we may not have seen the change immediately in their life. A couple of years down the road, they're calling back and thanking us, you know, for that which we have taught them uh, because uh, it became handy. And uh, in uh, training our kids up, especially in the Christian school, we give them everything that we believe uh, they ought to receive. And uh, they may not make that decision to accept it straight away. Uh, but uh, as you've said, it's about equipping them. Uh, it's in their armory, mm -hmm. you know, some, somewhere down the road, you know, when it comes to the challenges they're gonna face and they will do some, uh, you know, hard thinking and digging and uh, I'm glad that it's there, glad yeah. they have something that they can pick up from there, you know, and, uh, and use it. And so, like I said, it's a yes and no. Um, uh, to that, we did not start the school for that, you know, mm -hmm. just like a reform school. We start our school to train up our young kids. And uh, the problem that, you know, and I can say in a Christian school is where parents learn to be proactive. Uh, I can talk only from my experience, the upbringing that was done to me. Uh, much of the teaching was done when I've done something wrong. <laughs> And it does not usually come the good way, you know. And so, uh, but being proactive with these kids, you know, you're teaching them what they know, what they don't know. Be, and uh, before they make the, the bad choice, you've already taught them. Uh, in making this step, this is what, you know, the, the outcome. And so a Christian school is where we teach kids to be more proactive, you know, uh, rather than just, uh, you know, talking about a, a, a reform school where people come and, uh, you know, they've yeah. already messed up and hoping that we are going to change them. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you for that answer. Uh, I think when it comes to raising our children, um, it comes back down to this principle that training begins in the home. That's right. You can put mm. your child in the best education system, have the best teachers, uh, all of the advanced technology, but if that child doesn't have the discipline and the self-control to listen and to learn and to apply, then it doesn't matter where you put that child, they're not going to be able to thrive. And so there are many options for parents today. Of course, there's the option of the public schools there that are often provided by the government. And uh, we, we realize that there are issues there that we have to be uh, aware of. There are Christian schools or private schools, and these can be good options. They may not be the best option, mm -hmm. but even there we have to wisely discern and see is this a good fit for our child? Is this where they're going to get what they need to develop? Uh, I know it's not really big here in Fiji, but uh, there's homeschool. Uh, that's what my family and I are doing right now with our daughter is my, my wife is a teacher and she's teaching her at home. 
lots of resources, lots of curriculum. And we prayed about that, we thought about it, we got counsel. And for right now, we see that as the very best option for our daughter. Mm. That may change in years to come, but it's always constantly evaluating. And, and the reason I wanted Pastor Mala to share some things about Nasori Baptist Academy is just to give a perspective, a different perspective on Christian education. Mm. Because a lot of times it gets a bad a name or people have preconceived ideas or they mm. think, well, it's just a brainwashing academy. Uh, it's none of those things. There is the focus on educating what a child needs to know, reading, writing, arithmetic, all those basics, having an environment that encourages and teaches good character, good morals, and a structured environment where children are being taught how to have self-control. And I think that makes for a great education and is certainly one that is biblically based. Mm -hmm. And so, Pastor Molly, just one more question before mm -hmm. we uh, finish this afternoon. And that is this, what advice would you give to parents who are, I mean, really concerned about educating their children properly? Th this is a burden on their heart. It's, it's a weight on them. Mm -hmm. They're concerned about how their child's going to turn out. Uh, I guess maybe just speak as, as a father mm -hmm. uh, more of how you view your own children and, and your desire for them. Can you just give us some encouragement? Because it's tough mm -hmm. out there. Uh, raising children mm -hmm. is not easy, and uh, I think we could use all the encouragement we can get. So I'll mm -hmm. let you answer that question. Well, I'll begin talking about my upbringing. I think uh, kids today, uh, you know, they're just confused. There's a lot of confusion because they go to church, they hear something. They come home, they hear something. And they go to school, they hear something else. And there is this confusion, you know, where is the truth, which one to follow, you know, and all that. And that's the reason why we, in Notre Dame Baptist Church, uh, started the Notre Dame Baptist Christian Academy, because we want to ensure that our kids are listening to the same thing, the same thing that is preached at church, is being followed at home. And then when they go to school, which takes up a huge part of their life, you know, they get to hear the same thing uh, as well. And so, like I said, the kids that we have today, they're not just being rebellious. And yes, it's this foolishness that's bound up in our heart. And if we enhance it with confusion, uh, that's the chaos, you know, that we get to see today. And if you're a parent that is so concerned uh, with training up your kid uh, the right path, uh, just know that school uh, is where they spend the huge part of their life and whatever is going on in school that will definitely you know influence them and when I talk about a Christian school this is not to say come to our Christian school because we have very limited uh, intake we're not that big school but as pastor have said it uh, right uh, I believe if the emphasis uh, is from home if you as a parent Teach. I believe some of us, our, our options are, are limited. And it's said, Christian school like ours in Fiji is very expensive because of where we get the materials uh, are from. We're hoping that down the road, you know, things going to be, uh, we have it access easily and, 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 and cheaper. But at the same time, uh, I believe one thing I've talked to our parents, there's some parents in our church uh, that just don't have the means to be able to put them through, you know, our Christian school. But if even if that to, um, you know, uh, institution that influence your kid, the church and home. You emphasize on that uh, teaching, you know, the biblical teaching to your, uh, to your child. Uh, and there may be a hope, there may be a chance, you know, when they go to school that they will not be swept into this current of uh, confusion and chaos, you know, that we're seeing in our, in our world uh, today. And also, um, you know, it, it, like I have said that, it's not only in the classroom, uh, it's at home, and uh, maybe you're at your workplace. I think many parents, once they give their kids over to send them to school, they forget them. For that many hours, they don't see them. I hope you're spending time in prayer and fasting, you know, for your child, that they will, that they will turn out right. If they're going to a place where you don't fully trust, you know, that people that are teaching them or the, what they're being taught, I hope that you will be praying and saying, Lord, you will protect their mind, that you will protect their heart, the things that we've taught in the Bible, that that is the things that they will desire for and things that they will be determined to keep uh, when they're out there. Uh, we live in a very cruel world, a very dark world. 
you know, every day uh, things are coming up and our kids are exposed uh, to this. And we know we can't be there, yeah. you know, along them uh, every time, but we know there's a God that watches them and it's through our prayer. Mm -hmm. um, the point today is this, more par the, the main parents are not even concerned, yeah. you know, with the kids. I, I believe I, we may live in a messed up world, but if God sees that there are parents that are concerned, they have a heart for their child. They have a heart to see that their child is not going to be, you know, swept into the world that they that their child will become what God wants them to be. I believe God will support that. God will Amen. come in, yeah. you know, uh, to that. And so let's Amen. not just throw our kids away. Then yes. Uh, well, very wise words there, and thank you for your encouragement. I appreciate you tuning in to Transform by Truth. I hope it's been a helpful program to you. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you, Pastor Mala, for thank being you. on the program. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.